Welcome back to the U.S. Army Military Channel. Mission. The U.S. Air Force Air Demonstration Squadron, the Thunderbirds, performs precision aerial maneuvers, demonstrating the capabilities of Air Force high-performance aircraft to people throughout the world. The squadron exhibits the professional qualities the Air Force develops in the people who Objectives of the squadron are to support Air Force recruiting and retention programs, to reinforce public confidence in the Air Force and to demonstrate to the public the professional competence of Air Force members, to strengthen morale and esprit de corps among Air Force members, to support the team, the Thunderbird Squadron, is an Air Combat Command unit composed of eight pilots including six demonstration pilots, four support officers, three civilians and more than 130 enlisted personnel performing in 25 career fields. A Thunderbirds Air Demonstration is a mix of formation flying and solo routines. The four aircraft diamond formation demonstrates the training and precision of Air Force pilots, while the solo aircraft highlight the maximum capabilities of the F-16 Fighting Falcon. The pilots perform approximately 30 maneuvers in a demonstration. The entire show, including ground and air, runs about an hour and 15 minutes. The season lasts from March to November, with the winter months used to train new members. Officers serve a two-year assignment with the squadron, while enlisted personnel serve three to four. Replacements must be trained for about half of the team each year, providing a constant mix of experience. The squadron performs approximately 75 demonstrations each year and has never cancelled a demonstration due to maintenance difficulty. More than 300 million people in all 50 states and 58 foreign countries have seen the red, white and blue jets in more than 4,000 aerial demonstrations. In addition to their responsibilities as the official US Air Force Aerial Demonstration Team. The Thunderbirds are part of our combat force. If required, the team's personnel and aircraft can be rapidly integrated into a fighter unit at Nellis Air Force Base, NIV. Since the aircraft are only sly. F-16 Fighting Falcon The Lockheed Martin formerly General Dynamics F-16 represents the full range of capabilities possessed by the Air Force's tactical fighters. This highly maneuverable multi-role fighter has proven to be one of the world's best precision tactical bombers and air-to-air -air combat I. History The Thunderbirds were officially activated June 1, 1953, as the 3600th Air Demonstration Team at Luke AFB, Rees. Their first aircraft was the straight-winged F-84G Thunderjet, a combat fighter bomber that had seen action in Korea. Early in 1955 the team transitioned to the swept-winged F-84F. In June 1956, the team moved to its current home at Nellis. At the same time the Thunderbirds traded the veteran F-84 for the world's first supersonic fighter, the F-100 Super Sabre, an aerial platform that would serve the Thunderbirds for 13 years. More than 1,000 demonstrations were flown in there. The team changed briefly to the Republic F-105 Thunderchief. After only six shows, in 1964, due to an extensive modification that became necessary on all Thunderchiefs, the Thunderbirds returned to the F-100. From 1969 to 1973, the Thunderbirds flew the Air Force's front-line fighter, the F-4E Phantom. 
In 1974, the Thunderbirds converted to the T-38 Talon, the world's first supersonic trainer. The T-38 was more fuel efficient and less costly to maintain than the larger F-4. Early in 1983, the Thunderbirds reinstituted their traditional role of demonstrating the Air Force's front line fighter capabilities. Transition to the F-16A allowed the team to retain manpower and fuel efficiency while demonstrating to spectators the latest in fighter technology. In 1986, the Thunderbirds participated in the rededication flyby of the Statue of Liberty and in September, another milestone was attained when the team went over the 200 million Mark IV total attendance. The largest crowd, 2.5 million people, to see a performance was at Coney Island, MY, July 4, 1987. The 1987 Far East Tour marked their debut in Beijing, China. The first American military demonstration performance in a communist country. The Thunderbirds made television history in 2003 while celebrating their 50th anniversary. The commander, leader started the Coca-Cola 600 by broadcasting live from Thunderbird No. 1 as he said, gentlemen, start your engines. In 2009, the Thunderbirds traveled back to the Pacific Rim, performing in locations like Malaysia, Guam, Australia, Korea and Japan.